Gorilla shooting at the burger place. Woo! All right, we're recording B-roll because that's what we do before we eat. It's the foodie blogger thing. Like, this is the most behind the scenes episode of Cue the Critic you've ever seen. <laughs> like, we're super gorilla shooting right now. This is awesome. All right, there it is, dude. Should we redo this one? Oh, I think it should be all right. All right. I can get some with my camera after. Too. All right. Well, what do you mean after? It's going to be eaten. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of The Burger Crawl with Q the Critic. And today we're joined by Steven. Oh, my God. This is the most gorilla shoot I've <laughs> ever done. I, at like two o'clock, I was like, Steven, let's go eat, let's film. We've been talking about doing this for we like have, we have. for like weeks. At least, at least a couple of weeks. And then I ended up crossing. <laughs> We've been talking about doing this for like weeks and I ended up like having to go work and then I had to go to Fry's and I had to do a bunch of shit today. He's a busy man, busy And man. now it's nighttime and we're finally eating. And now it's nighttime and we're finally eating. <laughs> We're, okay, we're outside on the street at this place called Burgers and Brews, and there's so many cars just like skidding their tires and driving by. People walking in front of the camera. It's super gorilla style. Anyway, I got the, their big boy burger, which I don't know why I picked that up. It's a habit. I got their big boy burger, which has one third Angus beef patty, some maple bacon, a hash brown, fried egg, American cheese and some super secret breakfast sauce. What'd you get, Steven? I got the Mexico burger. What's on, all right. The Mexico Green burger. Bread. Something spicy, I like spicy stuff. Man. The Mexico burger is a one third Angus beef patty, okay. guacamole, chipotle mayo, chipotle. sauteed jalapenos and onions, pepper jack cheese, mm. lettuce, cilantro, tomato, and red onions. Yep. His burger's like, like super involved, mine is, yep. Mine's relatively simple. It's like the classic. You probably got and, like the classic here. Probably. And I got their... Uh, what do we got here? It's their chili cheese, their turkey chili cheese fries. Okay. So we're going to dive into the hamburgers because that's okay. what I love to eat. Show the detail, the detail on these burgers, they like burn an imprint in them. Ah, uh, the yeah. It there's a awesome. logo burnt awesome. into the fucking bun. Okay. That's insane. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Whoosh. Ah, that's good. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. That is really good. Damn. First bite was just an explosion in my mouth. I have an egg yolk dripping like in my mustache. Hmm. Uh hmm. -huh. Mm -hmm. I love this breakfast burger fill. I love it. That egg yolk just gives that egg yolky flavor. And it, it elevates this burger to like the next level of like a breakfast sausage burger. This is so good. Pepper Jack cheese. They put a lot on here. It's super good. I'm a big cheese guy being from Wisconsin. I can never have enough cheese. Nice. So I got the Matilda beer with this. It's an IPA. It's like 7% alcohol. It's pretty good. Wow. Oh yeah. All right, getting a little bit of that spiciness now. I like it. I'm getting a lot of the, the hash brown. Super potato taste now. Oh yeah, a little bit of guacamole, and it wasn't extra, which is nice. <laughs> it's not like going to Chipotle where you gotta pay extra for guac. Bullshit. The bacon's super flavorful. Super duper hash brown, super duper egg and runny yolk. The bun's nice and fluffy, it doesn't break apart. It's like carrying this burger to the next level. If Guy Fury was here, he'd be on the road to Flavor Town for sure. That's awesome. My meat's overcooked though. Good. Yeah. Like it's spotty in patches. There's a little pink here. And then super overcooked on this side. Mine's pretty good. It's a medium. I got a little bit of pink here, which I like on a burger. Just a little bit of pink, but. I want all the pink, because I like the pink. The pink and the steak. Mm -hmm. This is good. I'm glad we did this. For sure. I'm super glad we did this. Dude, this is good. I really like the guacamole on here. It's a good, it's 
I really, I really like the eggs and the bacon. The guacamole, like it, like dumbs down the spiciness, which is good. It's a good counteraction. Nice. I got some hash browns flipping out the side, trying to run away. But it's all good. This burger, overall for me, the big boy at Brewing at Burgers and Brews, super awesome. Um, it literally made me feel like I had breakfast. I was thinking about ordering a breakfast burrito and just not doing a video. But Steven's like, no, fuck that. You got to do a video. And I got a breakfast video. burger. Say again. Yeah. Right on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that super breakfast deliciousness. And I'm completely satisfied because I had a craving for breakfast. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. But it's really good and I love it. All right, last bite. Mm. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I'm a sucker for spice. Are you? Oh, yeah. This is what you gotta do. Last the stuff bite. that drips out of your burgers, you gotta eat that. Ah. I'm breaking my own rules using napkins. That's a rule? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not supposed to use napkins. But I had already did it, so I was like, oops. All right, let's try these fries. Sip my beer here. Which I'm not really looking forward to because they're cold. Nope. We got here. The chili's all right. It's cheddar cheese and french fries. And the yeah. The chili tastes like it's tomato based. It does. Lots of tomato in the chili. No, right? dude, you can't you can't make chili with tomatoes. No? No, hell no. How do you make it then? Oh, with just chili and meat and goodness. You don't put tomatoes in your chili? You do, but you don't taste it. Okay, okay. Like this is like marinara sauce on top of these fries. That's, that is true, that's what yeah. it tastes like. Like chili should taste like chili, like hearty and like just yeah. beefy and strong. This is like an Italian French fries with some cheese. Where's the meat? That's all. That's my question. Yeah, I'm not feeling these fries at all. I'll eat them later, but nope. All right, I think they're good. They're but... not bad, but they're not chili cheese fries. They're... No, they're not chili cheese fries. They're like they're like marinara fries. So I'm just I'm not feeling the fries. They're not terrible, like they're not nasty, but they're not turkey chili cheese fries. No. They're they're turkey marinara fries with with government cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste the turkey stuff at all. I don't see any meat in this. Uh, I guess yeah, a bit. There might be some somewhere. That's it guys. I had the big boy burger at Burgers and Brews. Steven had the Mexico burger. The Mexico burger. And we both had some marinara chili cheese fries. Whatever the fuck that is. And a couple of IPAs. Cheers, bro. Cheers. So, Steven, tell my audience a little bit about your channel and how they can subscribe to you. Yeah, so you can follow me at YouTube slash Steven Sievert, S-I-E-V-E-R-T. And I do daily vlogs. So I met Quincy at, uh, we work at an office together, Control Collective. Shout and, out uh, to Control Collective. Shout out to Control. And Quincy's kind of been a little mentor to me, a little YouTube mentor. Kind of showed me the ropes a little bit. And I'm just out here trying to follow my dreams of becoming a YouTuber. So Awesome, dude. Dude. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. All right, guys. That's it for this episode of the Burger Crawl with Q the Critic. I'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe to Steven. And Absolutely. subscribe to me if you haven't already. Peace. Later.